It's uh, come in handy for magicians, not only for mirror tricks, but also for tricks with lenses. Voilà. Uh, may I borrow your glasses, s'il vous plaît? Careful with them, okay? Okay, okay. Mm. Uh, we use glasses for the terribly sorry genre of tricks. Your glasses are in the bag. I pound on the bag with my hammer. Voila. And then. Oh la 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 la. Terribly sorry. Ew, that's not funny. It's neither magic nor science. What's this? Uh, here, in the meantime, you can wear these magic glasses. D'accord? I use them for a three-dimensional trick. I had enough of your tricks with glasses. Hey, you in the theater. There are glasses in your seat compartments. Please put them on and I'll show you a trick with glasses. Let's go for a ride in the city. Watch out for the beach. Terribly sorry. If only I had my glasses on. Okay, okay, I'm sorry about the glasses. Oh, this is too high. My feet are trembling. Can we please land now? Yeah, all right. All right, then. Here's a nice tower to land on. Yes. Let's land and let our 3D expert explain. Professor Blink, how did she pull up this trick? How do we achieve this magic? In the real world, outside the movie theater, we owe our depth perception to the fact that our eyes are located at a slight distance from each other. The differences between the images each eye sees are translated in our brain into three-dimensional vision. For 3D photography, we use a camera with two lenses. Each lens replaces one of our eyes. When the picture is printed on a postcard, there are actually two pictures printed, displaying what each eye would see in reality. To see the result in 3D, each eye must see only one picture. That's where the 3D glasses come in. Two images are projected simultaneously on the screen. If you remove your glasses for a moment, you'll see that together they create a blurry image. Put your glasses back on and let's separate the two images. Each image is projected through a different filter. Each eye looks at the screen through a different filter as well. The image projected through the filter on the right will reach only your right eye, and the image projected through the left-hand filter will only reach your left eye. And when each eye sees a slightly different image, the brain creates the 3D picture, right? Exactly. 3D technology has many scientific uses. For example, NASA scientists have sent a space vehicle with 3D cameras to Mars. Now they can stay here on Earth, put on 3D glasses and steer the vehicle as though they were actually sitting in it. Mars looks like a desert. Does any water flow there? Well, it used to, but... Great. I'm getting thirsty. Be a lifesaver. Bring me a glass of water. Magic and pins. Is it completely full? A pin wouldn't fit in here. Really? Mm. Because that's exactly what we are about to check. In your opinion, what? How many pins can fit one by one in a cup that is completely full of water before the water starts to spill out? And now it's time for you to use your very special remote control, which you'll find in your seat compartments. Take them out, come on, and press on the number of the answer you think is correct. No pins, five pins, 20 pins, or 150 pins. If, for example, you think the answer is no pins, press on number one. If you think the answer is five pins, press on number two, True. and so on. Okay then, choose your answer. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, that's it. Please return the remote controls. Here are your results. That is what you think. We oui. Let's find out what the correct answer is. Focus. Science. Focus. 
Hélène, ça va Would you perform the experiment Voilà, allez. Un, deux, trois, quatre, cinq, five. Five pins are already inside the cup. Let us know when the water starts spilling over, hein? In the meantime, let's see what bubbles have to do with uh, magic.